Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Guys, so it is currently 11.37 in the morning. Um, I just got done filming a sponsored hair video once again, and it's on this headband wig, y'all. It looks so good. I am actually really loving headband wigs. They are so convenient, and they are just so, like, easy to do, you know? So this hair is from Beauty Forever Hair. I did a review on it and I showed you guys how I put it on and it looks really good because I'm not that great at getting that lace melted, you know? I'm not good at giving scalp, you know, with the frontals and things like that. You gotta glue nothing down. Very convenient, very easy. So I just got done filming that video. So I'm on to my second video for today, which will be a filming setup video finally i think the last one that i did was like a year ago maybe two years ago now i'm going to be doing an updated one i get so many questions about my new lens so i have to update you guys and let you guys know the new equipment that i'm using to film for my videos i'm just into things like this too like cameras and just quality you know what I mean like I'm just very into stuff like this so this will be a very fun video for me to do and I have to go ahead and film this now because I have like about three hours to film and I have to do something else I will talk to you guys when I'm finished and if you guys are interested in this makeup look I did another quick easy go-to makeup look if you guys want to see how I achieve this look I will add it in this video on the top or at the end of this video or you can check in my description box I will leave a link and yeah I will talk to you guys after I'm done filming for this second video of the day <laughs> So you guys, with videos like this where you're going to be speaking on a lot of topics and sharing a bunch of information, um, I just go ahead and write down a few things that I need to mention so I don't forget, you know what I mean? I highly recommend you jotting down the topics and um, a lot of the information that you want to share so when you are doing your videos, you do not forget, you know what I mean? Because with me, it's easy for me to just speak on one topic for a long time and I can probably forget about more information. So that is exactly what I'm doing. eyelash glue y'all see that the green duo lash glue is this makeup pretty y'all I did a yellow smoky eye with pink smoked out um, on the bottom and green <laughs> in the inner corner with a nude lip of course it's already too much going on on the eyes all right i'm about to close out my video so you guys this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe everything that i applied will be down in my description box so make sure to check that out make sure to comment because i love when you guys comment on my videos and we just can chat it up in the comment section you know <laughs> So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so now it's time for me. I already did my outro and my intro for my video and now um, I'm going to do some close-up shots. So, you know, you can really see my makeup um, in the video and then after that, that's when I take my pictures. 
And I always take pictures of my makeup look using my camera or um, on my phone with those cute um, filters on Instagram. Because when you have a cute photo as your thumbnail, you're going to get a lot of clicks. So, little YouTuber tip. <laughs> I really see my contour. Sometimes I would add a little more makeup, even if it'll look a little crazy in person, because I'm not gonna go out like this, but sometimes it won't pick up as much in the camera. Just like with my contour, for example, it's not really showing. So when I do my close-up shots, you guys, I always turn on the flash on my phone. And I flash it right on my face, see? It gives you like that extra, mm, you know what I mean? Like, see, this is without the flash. This is with the flash. It makes your makeup stand out more, pop out more, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And sometimes I would just sit it right in front of me and lean it against my mirror. And it just looks better. And I have my phone here with my flash on, um, turn right to my face, and y'all don't mind my mirror, oh my gosh. So y'all know I have my camera right here, my two soft boxes, you can't even really see my camera, and I have a ring light right down there. Because I broke the tripod for my ring light, so now it's just chilling down there. But it does give me the perfect, like, it still brings that extra lighting that I need, basically. So, yeah. And if you guys want to know what app I'm using so I can be able to see myself while I film, it's on my laptop and it's from EOS Utilities right here. EOS Utilities and it's from Canon because I have a Canon DSLR camera. I talked about this in my um, recent updated filming setup video so if you guys have not seen that I will link it at the top of this vlog right now or at the end of this vlog so you guys can check it out that is a wrap baby take this mic off i always clip the mic um on one of the little cords that are attached to my camera and now i'm just going to upload those clips that i just filmed onto my laptop so all i do is just cut my camera on and everything should just pop up on its own. So I'm going to take all my clips and click import all. And that is it you guys. So all your clips will show up over here on the left. Over here. And then you can start dragging it to your... um project down here and start editing okay you guys so i know i showed you guys how i use the smooth effect and how i um did the patch like get rid of any pimples that i had on my face so i'm gonna zoom up into my eye makeup so this is how my eye makeup looks now but when i post on instagram i like to i like my makeup to really stand out pop out you know so i like to go in tones down here and you click picker so it's going to choose the same color that you click so if i just click right here see it's going to change if i do the yellow right there the black you know what i mean so whatever you touch is going to give you that color so i'm just going to zoom in and click this pink shade and i actually go a little darker than that so i just drag this down little bit so it'll really pop out so I just take my finger and just go across like this about just like two times so my eyeshadow is really pigmented but like I said when I post it on Instagram I want it to really stand out so I'm just gonna go on the other eye and do the same thing so now I'm just going to do the same thing for the yellow I'm gonna just do like this in my eyeshadow and it'll just make it stand out more. So this is before, after. 
so now I'm just gonna go into the green I did put this green in the inner corner but I honestly don't care for that green because I don't know it just looks really dark so this is how I do my inner corner highlight see this is before and after definitely is a huge difference y'all like it definitely brightened it up I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just a little bit so I'm just going to save that and I'm gonna actually go back in the smooth and just smooth this area also my little mustache be showing a little bit <laughs> before pimple and all that I know y'all see that <laughs> and this is the after everything looks flawless so after I do that I like to go in tones again and then I actually just like make my highlight pop out more if y'all see my Instagram pictures y'all will see like my highlight really standing out and this I do that just add like a little shirt you don't want to just go like let me save that you don't want to click it and then just you don't want to hold your finger down too long because if you do and then slowly do it it's going to leave just a harsh streak like that so you want to make sure you're very light-handed because we don't want this like what is that down my nose and sometimes I will tap it makes it looks more yeah, it makes it look more natural. The tip of my nose. And I'm just going to do this a little bit more. Sometimes I press erase as well right here. And I just tap around what I just did to make sure it'll blend in seamless <laughs> seamlessly. Okay, guys. So this is the photo now. This is before and after. Yeah, not much of a difference, I know, but I like my picture to look as natural as it can. I'm just enhancing a lot of things because we don't want to look like Play-Doh, okay? <laughs> not Play-Doh, girl. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my camera roll. So I'm going to go into Facetune 2. I love this app. The first time I used Facetune 2, I didn't really like it, but now I really love it. Their filters are so nice on here. So I'm going to click filters. So they have some little like categories down here. Intensify. So basically if you want to intensify your picture. They have golden hour. You know just a bunch. This will give you that golden sun kiss look. Beach vibes. The black and white. They have a bunch. And the one I like to use is. I like to use this one. The no filter one. Because like it gives you a filter, but it looks like you ain't got no filter. Yeah, I like to use the one in Gossip as well. They have some good ones in there. So I'm just going to use the one in the no filter. Mm, let me see which one. Probably this one. And the bar here is for you to drag it and intensify it even more. And judge. you can just edit it to your liking, basically. I like to do about 30 where there is a filter but you know it's not too much going on i don't like my pictures to look like super like fake we're gonna go to temperature okay so if you guys are having issues with your pictures coming out too orange too saturated you want to go in temperature this picture is very warm so basically mean like very orange so i'm gonna go in temperature and take that down a little bit so i go to about i don't like my picture to look hella gray and blue so I'm just gonna go to about like 15 and then I'm gonna go in saturation right here and then bring the saturation up because it'll still bring the color back to your face but the whole entire photo is more cooled down and not as warm and another thing you can click defocus your entire background will be blurred out and of course, you can drag it if you want the background to be even more blurred. And while I'm here, I also go, let me see, to sharpen right here in edit. And y'all always want to know how I get my pictures super sharp, super clear, crisp. And I just sharpen my photos like a lot. Not too sharp because see, if you go all the way up, you're going to look very grainy. 
and we don't want that look. So I go to maybe about maybe about between somewhere between 15 and 20. So yeah, this is how I edit my photos, y'all. After I save this, that is it. We will be uploading it to Instagram. So I hope you guys did learn something. If you do have any more questions, please let me know. So the main two apps that I use is Facetune and Facetune 2. And I edit a little bit in like Instagram's editing area like right before you actually post your photo so that is it baby we done <laughs> hey guys so I'm done editing my entire video so now I'm just gonna do my thumbnail and show you guys how I upload like get the video ready to be uploaded on my channel you know my hair oh it's so frizzy <laughs> but I want a haircut like I need some volume up top i need some layers or something but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that okay you guys so i'm gonna show y'all how i quickly do my thumbnail i went through this in one of my last vlogs and i use canva.com right up here so this is how i do my thumbnail so i went ahead and took some pictures and i uploaded and dragged it over here so now all I'm going to do, I have the three column collage here so I can uh, fit three different photos. I always use like the same collage that I used last, if that makes sense, because everything I need is already here. You know, I don't have to go through text anymore because it's already here. Now all I have to do is just take the picture. I'm going to click on it and drag it to where I want it to go. And I always just always make sure you take really nice pictures because when you have a really nice thumbnail, you gonna get some clicks okay most likely you're gonna get more views so now all i have to do is double tap this and type in what i wanted to say now Dang, y'all missed me on the ground. <laughs> Instagram been down too. I thought it was something when I posted because I didn't post in like going on two years. So when I finally posted, it was like messing up. So I thought my account was going to be messed up. Baby, your girl need to do a giveaway soon. I might do like a cash giveaway. Something real easy. I can send it straight through cash app. So y'all been showing me so much. I've been definitely replying, but Instagram been messing up. So I'm replying to as much comments as I can. And now my camera want to mess up. Girl, bye.